Wait a minute, let me get some Jesus in it. What? Jesus in it. What? Some Jesus in it. Hold That's right, that's right, that's right. You tuned in to another episode of In The Word. Today we're going to be coming out of Psalm 37 and 4. And in that passage of scripture, the Bible says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. And today we want to deal with that scripture because we want to understand and know what does the scripture really mean by if we delight ourselves in the Lord that he will give us the desires of our hearts. A lot of times when we hear that uh, passage quoted or preached or taught, a lot of times we get the uh, misconception that that scripture is saying that once we delight ourselves in the Lord that anything and everything that we ever desired or always wanted that God is going to give it to us. But um, I'm here to let you know today that that's not what the scripture is particularly saying. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to look at the word delight. Uh, the word delight means to have joy in, to be satisfied in, to be content in. So when you're content in the Lord, when you're satisfied in the Lord, when your joy, your happiness is in the Lord, it says then he will give you the desires of your heart. And what that basically means is that when you're one with God and, and, and when you become one heart with God, when, when you have that true communion with God, his desires become your desires. So it's not saying that what you always wanted or what you always thought was right for you, that that's what he would give you. But he said the thing that he always desired for you, now you'll be mature enough to accept that and receive that and know that this is what he wanted for your life. And a lot of times we look up and people walk away from God, they walk away from the church because they feel like God has not uh, come through for them. They feel like God has not uh, opened up the door that they've been waiting for. But sometimes the problem is that they haven't truly been delighted in God. They haven't truly been content in Him to receive uh, His instruction and to receive what it is that He's saying that they should have and that they shouldn't have. And understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying that everything that you desire that is not God's desire, but the truth of the matter is when we look at relationships, we know a lot of people that's been in relationships and they say, listen, I know this is what God wants from me. And then they come to find out months later, years later, days later, weeks later, that, you know, this wasn't what God intended for me. Why? Because they was too caught up in that relationship or that business, that ministry to really be content in God and to hear from God. I mean, one of our prime examples that we can look at and, and, and the best example to look at, and that's at our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you look at Matthew 26, chapter chapter 26 and verse 39 the Bible says that when Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane that he fell on his knees he fell before God and he said God if it were possible please let this cup pass from me amen he said if it were possible let this cup pass from me but this is the key these are the key words that he said afterwards he said nevertheless not my will be done but thy will. And the Bible says that not only did he say it once, but he said it three times. And that's awesome because what Jesus is saying is that because I'm delighted in you, because I'm content in you, because I'm one with you, even though I don't want to go through this process, even though now this ain't really what I want to go through, even though I signed up for it, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling some type of way about it. I'm kind of feeling different about it. But he says, nevertheless, not my desire be done, not what I want to do in this moment, but let your will be done. And I want to encourage somebody, truly begin to delight yourself in God. And, and, and when you do that, you will begin to understand what is his desires and what were your desires. And I'm telling you, there are some desires that you have that they are God's. Amen. But there's some things that some of us are desiring and we're waiting on. And God said, I never intended that for you. So I want you to be encouraged today. I want you to just meditate on that scripture. That's Psalm 37 and 4. Amen. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give you his desires, the desires of his heart, but once you become mature and one in him, they will also be the desires of your heart. And this is the awesome thing about it. A lot of times the thing that we always wanted, amen, when we find out it wasn't uh, what God intended for us later down the road, we get, we, we're happy, why? Because 
God has not allowed us to fall into something that we thought was going to be good for us, a ministry, a relationship, whatever it was, amen, we thought it was good for us, but God said, listen, I can see up the road, I see the future, but when we finally delighted in Him, amen, and we finally hooked up with Him and accepted and received what He had for us, <laughs> what was it? It was the best, amen, so you be encouraged. Keep watching the videos, amen. Keep supporting. I thank everyone that's been giving your positive feedback. Everybody that's been signing up and, and hooking with hooking up with me, excuse me, on the Facebook page in the word seven. Listen, keep praying my strength. I'm gonna keep uh putting out these videos, encouraging you, and know that I love you, and so does Jesus, amen. But remember, not your desires, but his desires. Amen. God bless you.